Hello, St. Therese. Welcome to our series of Lenten Reflections on the Seven Virtues. We are going to start this week by talking about the virtue of temperance. Temperance is basically our ability to use pleasurable things, to use things that feel good with moderation and balance. Now, there's nothing wrong with getting pleasure out of things, with enjoying a good meal, having fun playing sports, relaxing with a TV show, stuff like that. But the virtue of temperance calls us to use these things without getting carried away. That's why the opposite of temperance is the vice called gluttony, which is when we overindulge in something pleasurable until it becomes unhealthy. A classic example of this is food. Having one bowl of ice cream can be a good way to unwind in the evening, but having 10 bowls of ice cream is going to make you unhealthy. Or another example could be entertainment. You know, one episode of a TV show could be a good way to relax in the evening. But if you binge watch 10 episodes in a row, it's going to destroy your sleep schedule and keep you from your other responsibilities. In short, temperance is the ability to say no to a thing, to stop using a thing when it is no longer healthy or prudent for you to keep using it. Temperance is a virtue that I find really hard to live out when I'm online. I'll often start with good intentions, like I'll say to myself, I'm going to be on Facebook for 10 minutes to unwind after work, or I'm going to watch just one episode of the show on Netflix. But I find that it's really, really hard to stick to these goals that I set for myself. It's easy to, for me to fall into the trap of saying, oh, I'll read just one more post. I'll be on for just five more minutes, then five more minutes, then five more minutes, until all of a sudden I look up and an entire hour has gone by. A lot of websites and apps, as you probably know, are designed to trap you like this. That's why Facebook or Instagram or TikTok have feeds that refresh automatically and go on infinitely. That's why Netflix and YouTube automatically start a second video the moment that the first one finishes. These features are designed to make it easy for you to passively kind of keep going along and watching more and more and more. They make choosing more the default option so that you have to exert your will. You have to make an effort to say no and turn it off and step away. Because these technologies are so good and so sophisticated at sucking us in, we have to be very deliberate. We have to be very good at strengthening our own virtue of temperance. We have to take careful steps to strengthen our ability to say no when we've had enough. One way to do this is to make very concrete goals for yourself and create a way to reinforce them. So if you say, I will only use Facebook for 15 minutes, set a timer that goes off after 15 minutes, or download an app that turns off your internet after 15 minutes. Most importantly though, we can also turn to God and pray to him to strengthen the virtue of temperance in us so that we can use all of the gifts that he gives us in moderation.